Howdy folks, back here on Facebook one more time, still dealing with some internet issues, so once we get that taken care of, we'll be able to give you something a little bigger to look at, but let's show you the radar screen. Here's what we're dealing with, that green box over Bryan and College Station, Snook as well into Burleson County. That is still your flash flood warning in effect for another 10 minutes, but really that should continue on because of the fact that the water is not going to recede, plus here's the deal. Take a look out to the west. Strong thunderstorms now moving through with heavy downpours and frequent lightning for folks in Cameron, northern portions of Milam County, also starting to slide towards you folks in Giddings and the very western side of Lee County. The reason why is more flooding rains are moving in from the Austin area, I-35, that green box you see around the Pflugerville, back down towards Austin and uh, Manor, right along 290. And that's another flash flood warning, which means heavy rainfall continues to move with this, and that is all moving in the direction of the Brazos Valley. For now, not a very major concern, just because that we do have the western side of the area, didn't see quite as much rain. But what you were asking here is as we go through the night, that we've had plenty of uh, road closures, flooding issues there, plus the fact that uh, some uh, structure fires have been going on, maybe because of lightning, maybe because of flooding. What they're asking you is if you have water coming into your home, go to that main breaker box, that electric box, and turn off your electricity to make sure that your house potentially doesn't catch fire as well. That's what we're asking. That's what law enforcement is asking as well. We're going to try to get updated and try to get everything running once again. But of course, you can stay here. Twitter, kbtx.com, and Facebook will keep you updated as needed.